Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about some things that are trending. So if you guys do not know, honey, (laughs) the girls are fighting. And when I say the girls, I don't mean Azealia Banks and, you know, whoever. I am talking about the tech girls, honey. Okay, Facebook, Google and Apple. If y'all don't know, those girls are fighting. They're being super catty and they're trying to scratch each other's eyes out behind advertisement. So go ahead, pull up a chair and a cup, honey, and come sip slow with your girl. So what's going down is this. Um, I'm sure many of you guys are aware. We talked about this on the Discord. Millions of people, honey, you know, we don't sleep around these parts. Around midnight last Friday, Everybody got logged out of Facebook. Some people didn't, but millions of people did. And it started trending all over social media. People were scared that Facebook was hacked. There were all types of Reddit posts and everything else. I'm going to go ahead and play this news clip for y'all in case you didn't hear about this. Check it out. And if you were on your phone last night and tried to go on Facebook, you might have noticed the app logged you out. Well, you're not alone. Thousands of people across the nation were logged out. The topic was trending all over the Internet. According to USA Today, Facebook blamed a configuration change for the mass logouts. The incident not only led to questions, but conspiracy theories that the site had been hacked. A Facebook spokesperson apologized for the inconvenience the logouts caused. All right, y'all just saw that clip. So all these folks were logged out last Friday. So, you know, we were talking about it. People were kind of curious, like, okay, well, were they hacked? Are they trying to do something? Why did, you know, some people get logged out? Facebook claimed it was, you know, an accident. They were trying to update something. They ran to their Facebook app to let everybody know, you know, to calm down. So they basically said that we're looking into reports of people being logged out and having to log in again to access their Facebook accounts. We're working to resolve this issue as quickly as possible. Thank you for your patience. So that is what Facebook had to say about the situation. And then today, um, I was sent an article on Discord, and I found that really funny that just last Friday, folks was logged out. But now today, if you guys do not know, it's now being implemented that Facebook will now have to show you exactly how they stock you even when you're not using Facebook. Now, this situation has been going on for several years. You know, people have always been talking about, you know, leaving Facebook. They they track you everywhere. But most people just assume that they just track you on Facebook. But that's not what's happening. They also track you off of Facebook. And so this information became more known a year ago. So I was trying to figure out, well, why is this trending? Because I heard about this before. And so... Um, basically what happened is that a year ago it came out that Facebook was spying on folks. They were following you off of Facebook before they would follow what you did on their app, right? If you're visiting like baby rooms, oh, they might know that you're pregnant. So then they're going to, you know, show you ads with like baby products and bottles and things like that. But then what happened is that now let's say you leave Facebook and you virtually walk to Twitter or you virtually come to YouTube. All of a sudden, those same ads are not being shown on YouTube videos that you're watching. Or if you're on Instagram, those same ads are there as well. So this was really disturbing to people. And it came out that it was called off Facebook activity. So now what Apple did, okay, being messy. So now what Apple did, being the messy queens that they are, they ran to implement a new rule. Now, a lot of you Apple users, if you don't know this, be prepared for this, but with their, it's going to come out with their new iOS 14. And basically they are making it where it's mandatory for Facebook and all advertisers. Anybody who wants to advertise on the iPhone, you have to give the, the user, the end user, you have to give them login parameters, basically where it will say that they are made aware that they're being tracked and they have to agree to it. See, before, you know, you just surf the Internet on your phone and went from site to site, app to app. 
And you were none the wiser, most people, right? So now what Apple is saying that in order for Facebook, Google, or any of these big, you know, uh, ad companies to be able to use their service, they're going to have to let their consumers, and we know, you know, Apple is the number one cell phone company, honey, okay, even though I'm team Android, um, they have to let the users know. And for most people, they don't feel comfortable being tracked all over the Internet. It's one thing if I'm on your site or on your app. But what I do over here on Twitter should not affect what I do over here on Facebook, should not affect what I do over here on www, whatever website dot com. So that is going to be updated in Apple's new iPhone and iPads. It's going to be called the IDFA. And IDFA stands for, for identifier for advertisers. So you can think of it kind of like when you go onto a website and there's cookies who track you. Like if you're on your um, computer or laptop, there are cookies that follow you from website to website. So you'll see, you know, ads that are geared towards more your taste. Well, what people didn't realize is that those same bootleg cookies, honey, they're also in the damn cell phone. And that's what a lot of folks didn't know. So what's going on? right now is that this is almost like the adpocalypse for the ad companies okay and I mean the whole thing is so complicated we went through this on YouTube where we went through our own little adpocalypse you know with the people who are creating content because of jealous media sources and things like that well now this adpocalypse is now coming at the advertiser industry So this is really scary for a lot of people who use these ad companies, who need to sell their products, who need to do stuff. But on the same breath, people are concerned with their privacy. If you're on Facebook a lot, you probably are very familiar with that sneaking suspicion that something's watching you. Maybe your app. Turns out. Mm, You're not far from the truth. Some new uh, information to add to our understanding of that. Facebook has admitted it collects your information, and it's now even explaining how it does it. So, Scott, Facebook is stalking (laughs) us. It sure is. How? Uh, It is uh, sharing that detail today. It's basically every time you go off the Facebook site to go surf around for something, Facebook is watching your every move. It's called Off Facebook Activity. Here's an example if you look at your account and go to this area. It is now sharing the apps that uh, that you're looking at. For example, the last 180 days, we did this in the newsroom. There's about uh, over 400 apps that show up. And if you click on any of those individual apps, it shows you how many times you visited that, how long you stayed for, so basically everything you do outside of Facebook. Now, they made this promise. Mark Zuckerberg did it uh, uh, because of that Cambridge Analytics uh, debacle back in 2018 where a lot of personal information was shared. So this is a way of them giving back some privacy to people to make sure that they know how they're being tracked, why they're being tracked, and why they're being tracked is because of advertising. Advertisers are very keen to get to those 25 billion dollars Facebook users. So this is a promise now enacted and in effect today for anyone going on to Facebook to see how they're being tracked, why they're being tracked, and exactly what we're all looking at outside of Facebook. When I tell you these girls are fighting in Silicon Valley, honey, pulling hair, kicking each other, biting each other, scratching each other's eyes out, it is a mess. So what happened while they're back in the news with this whole situation concerning the off Facebook activity feature is that Facebook is finally agreeing to get on board. So they announced it a few days ago and they're saying that Facebook announces new app login parameters to assist with transition to Apple's IDFA update. Because initially Facebook was fighting back, Google was fighting back, but the difference is as much as they want to fight and say that it's not fair, Apple doesn't need them, okay? Right now you have these major tech conglomerates. They are trying to be the fucking king of the Game of Thrones, right? They're trying to be the final tech giant standing. And they're going to step on each other and try and crush each other however they can. And so what's going on is that Google and Facebook have been like the top two monopolies for years. I talked about this in the prior podcast. And so Apple is trying to find a way to, you know, beat them at their own game. The reason why Google and Facebook are so big is because of advertising. And the way they went about it was very sneaky. But I also have to hold the the advertisers accountable and also us as consumers. Because so many times we just do blame Facebook. Oh, 
oh, Facebook is the devil. Facebook is evil. You know, we blame these tech companies a lot, but we never look at it from where the advertisers also play a part in this and where we as consumers also played a part in this, right? So I'm going to try and break that down in this podcast. So basically... Um, if you guys remember, you know, many, many moons ago before there were all these ads that would hit you on stuff, right? When you came onto the internet, kind of just surfed the internet, had a good old funky time. You really only saw ads on television and they were placed like in commercials or you heard ads on the radio. That was usually the extent of it. Then at some point on the internet, it just started becoming more and more ads, then, you know, YouTube came and MySpace and Facebook and people started realizing like, hey, there's millions of people accessing these websites, accessing these apps. You know, how about we start putting ads in front of them, you know, to help generate, you know, money for people's businesses and the economy. It's a win win. But the problem is it started being so many ads. Well, now it's gotten so crazy with the ads that uh, YouTube made a new rule as of November 18th, 2020, that you cannot opt out of ads on YouTube. Every video on YouTube, they are putting ads on there. So if you do ASMR and, you know, a lot of those videos, they don't want ads on those videos. Even if you opt out and say, don't put ads on my video, YouTube now has the right to. Because, again, the old way is shifting and folks are fighting. When I tell you this is like the tech Game of Thrones, it really is. So it's mandatory. So I have so many videos that are demonetized, but you guys will still see ads on them. But YouTube gets that money, right? Even like videos, if you talk about death or, you know, um, earthquakes or, you know, something that you're not supposed to necessarily get monetized for on YouTube, they'll punish us and say, oh, well, we can't pay you for talking about the death of whatever celebrity or talking about, you know, tens of thousands of people who died in a mudslide. You can't get paid for that because that's against YouTube's terms of services. But we can. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's such it's 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 very hypocritical. Right. So a lot of people were complaining about that. You know, a lot of outrage back in November. And then, you know, of course, with the Internet, we move on. But the rules are the rules. So. Yo, what's up? Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.